last three visits, I think, to Australia, um, I played capital cities. And uh, I said to my promoters uh, that I, I wanted to come back to the country. I come back here because this is where I come from, you know. And uh, sometimes I play even smaller places. And, and uh, it's, it's good for me and it's good for the audience. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, you've got to put the audience first. That's, that, that's, that's the important thing for me. I'm going to use the same tuning, but when I do the mystery, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put a second capo on. So I think I'll start with Tall Fiddler. Antonella's birthday, um, in brackets, you, you, you could put my sunshine song because we had just finished a long tour of England and it rained every day. It was cold and wet, you know. The people were warm, but the, the place was freezing. And we flew into Italy and uh, we were staying up at Suave and uh, about seven in the morning I woke up and the sun was streaming through the old wooden louvers and I went, I just like went to it like a zombie, you know, straight to the sun, get my guitar, sat there with the sun in my face and I wrote that song. But, and, but and my friend Antonella it was downstairs making breakfast and it was her birthday, so I dedicated the song to her.
Nine Pound Hammers, uh, that is a classic Merle Travis song. It's from the, the coal mining uh, the area of um, Western Kentucky, uh, which is exactly where this thumb and finger style comes from. And uh, the Nine Pound Hammers, in the old days, they, they didn't have machinery. They, they'd send the men down, and the men had to uh, uh, get into the coal by hand with this big hammer and you know and like and the mine's very small so you know it's like you couldn't get a breath let, let alone strike that thing so the nine pound hammer it's a little too heavy for my size uh, you know and I'm, I'm leaving the mines I'm going to go and see my baby and I'm not coming back that's what it's about and then it says and, and in fact the the uh, the original lyric uh, roll on buddy D don't you roll so slow well how can I roll when my wheels won't go you know it's like um, Buddy was actually a mule who used to pull the coal uh, carts that nine pound hammer it's a little too heavy for my size, but if all my size, yeah, well, I'm going on the mountain, gonna see my baby, and I ain't coming back. No, I ain't coming back. Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. Well, how can I roll when my wheels won't go? Roll on, buddy, yeah, pull your load of coal. How can I pull when my wheels won't go? It's a long way to Harlem. It's a long way to Hazard. Just to get a little brew, just to get a little brew, yeah. Well, that nine pound hammer kill John Henry. It ain't gonna kill me. No, it won't kill me. Roll on, buddy, when you load the coal. But how can I pull, buddy, when my wheels won't go? Roll on, buddy, and don't you make so slow.
Somewhere Over the Rainbow is a song that means a great deal to me. It's so beautiful. Um, and I fell in love with the song probably three times in my life. And I think the first time was when I was little. The second time was when Amanda was born. And the third time was when Angelina was born. Because that's what we watched when they were little was um, The Wizard of Oz. And uh, that is truly a beautiful melody. Amanda and Angelina uh, live in England and go to school there. Uh, I, don't, uh, um, I don't get to see them as often as I'd like. That's the hardest part of my whole life is being away from my children. If you can, if you can get on and cope with that in the middle of all this, then you're doing pretty well. Um, but uh, I always look forward to, to seeing them. I, I guess I see them every couple of months. Um, and that's not enough, really. We're, we're making changes so I can have more time to be dad, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's, uh, what I do is really important to me, and so are my children. And it's a kind of, it's an area where you, you have to toughen up to get through it, you know? Um, but uh, my, both my children love music, and um, Amanda, Amanda still plays all my old demos that I when, I, when she was a baby and I was writing songs from my earlier albums, I'd always give her a copy of everything I did and she kept it all. And she's still, she's 17 years old, and she still plays all my old demos and, and says, I love the demos better than the real thing, Dad, and stuff like that, you know. That's a backhanded compliment. It is. <laughs>
I can feel a rock and roll song coming on bell rap, yeah. <laughs> Call that bumper bumper. Bumper bumper, yeah. Since my baby left me, well, I found a new place to dwell. Down at the end of Lombard Street and Heartbreak Hotel. Mm. Be so lonely. Be so lonely. Be so lonely. Crowded, you still can't find some room. Broken heart and love, are there in the gloom? Ooh, and be so lonely, so lonely, so lonely. The bellhop's tears keep flowing. Love the dash trucks dressed in black. Been so long on lonely street, he's never coming back. Ooh. Be so lonely, so lonely, so lonely. Uh, he could die. Tell him guitar.
so lonely, so lonely Thank you. <clears throat> and now I've destroyed my voice. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun tonight. <laughs> the fun meter's peaking. <coughs> All right. Um, I have a, a young lady who's on the road with me, and uh, she's been a true blessing in my life, I can tell you that. She's a wonderful singer and a wonderful songwriter. But more than that, she's an incredible person. I'd like you to make her welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Lizzie Watkins. Hi. Wow, I like being able to see you. <laughs> yes, it's a nice change. It is. Normally the audience is totally dark, and, uh, and I'm kind of playing to a big... A big black, black abyss. Ab abyss. <laughs> We'd like to uh, do a song for you that was... This song's written by Dolly Parton, who's a great, great songwriter. <coughs> and uh, this was recorded by Chet and Dolly on Chet's album, uh, The Best of Chet Atkins and Friends. If you ever see that album, grab it. It's a wonderful, a wonderful album. Um, on the cover, it's got a photo of Chet with, bu with a bunch of dogs. They're his friends. But uh, th th this is one of my favorite tracks on the album. And uh, so this was written by Dolly. Um, I'll do Dolly's part tonight. You. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're so mean. You naughty boy. <laughs> Or sometimes I go walking through fields where we walked long ago and the sweet it used to be. And the flowers still grow, but they don't smell sweet as they did when you picked them for me. And when I think of you, oh, I it's Very 
Here's a song written by a, a good friend of ours from Nashville. Her name's Pam Rose. It's a wonderful song called Walls. Some walls, some walls must fall. 
Thank you. We're going to do a Lizzie Watkins song now, aren't we? We are. We are. This is a beautiful song. You want to tell the folks about it? Okay. This is a song called Together Alone. Um, I wrote this at a time when um, we were both being, we, we both kept missing each other. We kept being pulled in different directions. And I think when you're in a relationship, it's so important to reconnect with your special someone and uh, let them know how much you love them. Perfectly put. Thank you. Just want to be together alone, only want to be together alone. Lizzie Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'm going to play a brand new song for you. I was teaching guitar earlier this year at Lewis and Clark College in a place called Lake Oswego in Oregon, on the west coast of America. It's a very big state, Oregon. And uh, I asked somebody one day, I said, who's Lewis and Clark? Who, who are they? And they almost laughed at me. They said, you've never heard of Lewis and Clark? Where are you from? And I said, I'm from Australia. I know who Burke and Wills are. I know who Captain Cook is. I know who Slim Dusty is. I know who John Laws, my very good friend in radio, is. Valvoline, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know who Lewis and Clark were, so I went and bought a book, which was the diaries of Lewis and Clark, and it was so incredible and so inspiring. Um, back in the uh, early 1800s, uh, <coughs> Thomas Jefferson did a deal with Napoleon, and for $20 million, he bought everything west of the Missouri and Mississippi River and had no idea what he'd bought, and he had to find out, of course, and, and so... Um, the two military men and their, their team went out to 
explore that country and, and find out what was there and map it out, mark it out and make friends with the Indians. In fact, if they, if they hadn't made uh, friends with the native Indians, they would never have made it. Um, and it's, it's a wonderful story. So I hope you like it. I want, when I was inspired to write this music, I wanted to write it uh, that it, th I knew it had to be simple and I knew it had to speak of the great unknown. And so that was my kind of challenge as the composer. And I hope I achieved that. And I hope you like this song. It's called Lewis and Clark. There's a little tribute to the Indians at the start. Check it out. Cowboy's Dream, yeah. Uh, I had that title a long time ago, but I never had a song for it. I just thought, I really love that title, you know? And, uh, and it was kind of like, there are a lot of songs written about cowboys dreaming of and glasses of beer and, and uh, all that kind of stuff. And I, I thought, you know, I'm gonna write myself a, 
a song about a, uh, the cowboys dreaming of beautiful girls in in Hawaii and on the beach and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I quite kind of call it my Hawaiian cowboy song. <laughs> That's All is a Merle Travis tune, and uh, it's, it's a message song, you know. Um, some people go to school to learn how to speak, uh, learn how to teach. Some people go to school just to learn how to preach. But if you can't preach without going to school, then you ain't nothing but an educated fool, and that's all. You know, you better change your way of living for the, before the good Lord says that's all. <laughs> so it's a message song, you know. You know, some people go to school just to learn how to teach. And some people go to school just to learn how to preach. But if you can't preach without going to school, baby, you ain't nothing but an educated fool, and that's all. Yeah, that's all. You better change your way of living, for the good Lord says that's all. I knew a man, he was a miser. He's always trying to hoard all his money away. But well, let me tell you, when that undertaker puts you down, we're gonna spend that money under the ground. And that's all. Yeah, that's all. You better change your way of living for the good Lord says that's all. That's all, that's all. Now, 
Now men come from monkeys, some people say. But the good book doesn't see things that way. You go around believing that monkey tail fella. Well, I'd rather be the <laughs> than you and that's all. Mm, that's all. You better change your way of living for the good Lord says that's all. That's all, that's all. What do you got for us tonight, guitar? <laughs> song through. My little song's done. I didn't necessarily mean to point this song at anyone, but if you don't like the way the little song goes, it's a pretty sure sign that I've been stomping on your toes. That's all. Yeah, that's all. You better change your way of living for the good Lord says. That's all, and that's all. Thank you. Uh, Tahitian Skies is a beautiful song uh, written by an, uh, an Englishman named Ray Flack, and um, Chet Atkins recorded that in a beautiful version. But I like it as a solo piece, and um, uh, I, I just think it's a gorgeous melody. And I haven't played this song in a long time, so you may wish me luck as you wave me goodbye in this one. You never know. The egg might finally find my face.
Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. The Man with the Green Thumb is uh, the song that I dedicated to Chet. Um, and uh, I, the, in the middle section of that, where it, where it goes from the um, A into the C uh, part, <clears throat> I, I made, uh, there's a little quote from Mel Travis's uh, Saturday Night Shuffle in there. So it goes, dun, da, 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 da. then it goes, da, 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 da. it goes off into something else. Just that split second is a little bit of Mel Travis as well. So, because we, we, we play with our thumb, let me see, using one of these, this is a thumb pick, so that's why the man with the green thumb, you know, and green thumb also is like a, a person uh, who, who pl plants seeds and they all grow, you know, people who can grow anything, and that was Chet. I Still Can't Say Goodbye is a beautiful song written by a guy named uh, Jimmy Moore in Nashville. And uh, Chet Atkins recorded that song back in about 83 or 84. And uh, him and I had a connection with our fathers. You know, I lost my dad early. He was kind of disconnected from his father for a long time. And his father didn't show him the respect that he was due until he, w he really made it big kind of thing. And then they were reconciled. But um, the song basically says, you know, Chet always said, when I put this hat on, I look in the mirror, I see my dad. And uh, my, my, my father used to wear a hat the same too. And uh, before Chet died, he said to me, uh, would you keep singing that song? It's important. People need to hear that song. When I was young, 
my dad would say Come on son, let's go out and play Sometimes it feels like yesterday Then I'd climb up the closet shelf When I was all by myself Grab his hat and I'd fix the brim Pretending I was him No matter how hard I try No matter how many tears I cry No matter how many years roll by I still can't say goodbye took care of mom and me we all cut down a Christmas tree he always had some precious time for me the wind blows through the trees the street lights still Most things seem the same, but I miss my daddy tonight. I walk by a Salvation Army store. I saw a hat like my daddy wore. Tried it on as I walked in. I'm still trying to be like him no matter how hard I try no matter how many years fly by and no matter how many tears I cry I still can't say goodbye still can't say goodbye and we miss you chief we do thank you god bless you folks thank you so very much My main goal is to start my own label and uh, to sign and, and seek out good young guitar players and, and, and give them a helping hand, you know, uh, and help them to get their show together, help them to get their music out there to the people and set them on their way. I've tried to lead by example uh, all these years uh, and say, you know, you've got you've got to have a vision of, of where you belong. If you see yourself, if you're happy just playing in the corner pub, that's fine. But if you have bigger aspirations than that, you've got to follow them. You've got to find a way of getting to there. And I always knew I belonged in a, in a theatre, concert hall. As I said, you've got to have a vision for where you're going and stick at it and don't let anyone do anything that's going to stop you from fulfilling your, your life's uh, goal, you know. Uh, and I believe what I'm doing is my calling, and it's very important. When I play, something happens to you, and that's important.